says to cross over, don't worry how deep or why. He knows when to send your miracle. Hello and welcome to my tutorial on how to add a song into ProPresenter. So first thing we're going to want to do is uh, make make sure that ProPresenter is open of course but I would imagine at this point you already have that done. So let's go to ProPresenter. Okay so uh, when entering a song into ProPresenter uh, go into this little magnifying glass right here and you're going to search uh, so make sure that that this little song select thing is selected and then uh, enter your song so for this tutorial I'm going to be uh, searching for since Jesus came into my heart song number 503 from in the hymnal which looks like that All right, so song number 503, Since Jesus Came Into My Heart. Let's take a look at that. Uh, actually, one thing you need to look at is down here, uh, it tells you who wrote the lyrics, Rufus McDaniel, and who wrote the music, Charles Gabriel. Now, that's something that you have to keep in mind when you're searching for your song because that will tell you whether or not you have the correct version. Okay, so... Since Jesus came into my heart, let's take a look for Since Jesus Came Into My Heart. So, now we have uh, a few different versions here. This says Charles Gabriel, like we were looking for, Rufus McDaniel, but it's also got Ryan Dahl. So, let's look at a different one, Charles Gabriel. And this one has Rufus McDaniel and Charles Gabriel. That's it. So let's take a look at that one. So keep um, when you're importing a song, remember your uh, CCLI song number. Um, now, if we wanted to make sure that this was really the right version, we could go into Song Select and search up this number, 71650. So if we go into Song Select, and uh, make sure you're signed in and we can enter 71650 and search since Jesus came into my heart uh, so you're gonna check out the lyrics that's what you want to do so if you go into lyrics right here then there we go there we got the lyrics so this version has one two three four five verses now if we go and take a look at our hymnal this one only has three but uh, the other thing that you have to do then too is oh let me just make sure that I didn't accidentally leave all kinds of stuff on Well, seems like maybe I didn't. Okay, so this one only has three verses. What a wonderful change. I have ceased from my wandering, and I shall go there to dwell. So if we go back to this song, we have what a wonderful change. I have ceased from my wandering. But then it's got I'm possessed of hope. There's a light in the valley. And then verse number five is, I shall go there to dwell. So it's got five verses, but they're all there. So you can go back if you, uh, if you want to see if there's different versions that have the right verses and in the right order. Uh, if you copy this title right here, and remember to copy, it's control C, and then click on search. And then control V will paste what you just copied. So if you search that, then you have all these different versions of Since Jesus Came Into My Heart. And I've checked out a few of them, and they all seem to have five verses. So we're just going to go with the one that we found in ProPresenter. So if we go back to ProPresenter, search, this is the one we want right here with just Charles Gabriel and Rufus McDaniel. So we'll click on that. 
and then click on import. Now, when this window shows up, there's a few things that you need to make sure that you have in place. Uh, slides delimited by, you want to make sure that it says line break, not paragraph break. And then you want to delimit your slides by two. So there's two lines per slide. Uh, your size should be 1920 by 1080. That's the size that we're streaming everything at. And then this is where you would select your theme. Uh, I went with um, so lyric styles, black box, lines only, all caps. That's the one that I normally use. Um, and then in here, your library. So in this corner up here is where you should have, I would strongly suggest, a library that's called songs. You'll notice I have one that's called songs and one that says songs with chords. Um, for, for some songs that we use, I add chords um, and then we can display that on the stage screen that we have in the back. Uh, for the people that are up on stage performing the songs th so that they know what chords are in the songs and when to switch and I add those chords in after I've imported the song. But we're not going to concentrate on that right now. We're just going to put them into songs. So I have two, one that says songs, one that says songs with chords. We're just going to import this one into the one that says songs. So here in library, you need to make sure that you have the right library selected. Then in playlist, if you had a certain playlist that you wanted to put this in, <coughs> excuse me, uh, I have a playlist here called February 19th, so if I wanted to put it into February 19th, that I could click on that and select February 19th. I don't actually have a playlist that I want to insert this song into, so, so uh, we'll just leave that as none. Then you select Import, and it will bring the song into your ProPresenter. Now, first thing that we want to do is we want to make sure that we have an extra slide at the beginning because if you remember we were talking about how um, we need to be displaying song information the, the copyright information online so uh, we need to add a new slide so add new blank slide and it adds it right here in the very back if you click on that then you can drag it to the very beginning of the song now uh, one thing that I noticed before is that some of you would set it down when there's that little blue arrow that shows up like I have right now. What that does is that puts that slide in as the first slide in that group. So it would actually put it into verse 1. Um, if I put it over here, now it would put it into chorus 1. So what you want to do is you want to slide it over until you see that little blue bar in between the slides and then let go. So we want to put it at the very beginning. We slide it over till we see that blue bar and we let go. There it is. It's not in the verse one. It's in a group all by itself. That's just called group. And it's blank. That's perfect. That's just what we want. When we click on it, then on the front screen, we'd have our song copyright information just like that right there. Now you may have a few slides that, uh, because of the the length of the words in the slides, they'll uh, they'll uh, have more. This one here has three lines. So if you go into edit, um, and then click on your text box, and then what I often do, you go into your text tab up here, and then just decrease the text size until it all fits in the one line. There we go. Just like that, it all fits into one line. But, uh, hmm, with this song, I have to make it really small. So let's go, let's go ahead and, and, and uh, make the text smaller until it fits into two lines, just like that. So we had to go to the size 53 to make that happen, but that's fine. Now, if we click on it, voila all your text is in two lines instead of three. So then you can scroll through your song, make sure that all of your slides are like that. This one is different again too. Let's uh, decrease the text size here as well until it all fits onto 
two lines. There we go. All right. Continuing on. Now, you'll notice that there's five verses, right? We were going to use one, three, or one, two, and five. So what you can do is either um, disable verses, uh, verses three and four, or we can delete it, uh, delete verses three and four. So if we were to disable it, if you click on your first slide, so we're starting at verse three, we're going to delete them or disable them at this point. And if you hit control, then click on that first slide, and then we want to take verses three and four away. So we want to go right to this very last slide. So now if you let go of control, and you hit shift instead, and then click on this slide, it will automatically select all the slides from the first slide you click to the last to the last slide you click. Then right click on any one of those slides, and then you can select disable, and it grays them out so that when, if we were on this slide, and you hit the left arrow, or the right arrow, sorry, it would automatically jump to this slide and so then these verses are no longer being used. Another way we can do that, seeing as we're probably going to be singing this song the same way each time, we don't need these verses in here. So again, hit Control, click on that slide, hit Shift, click on that slide, right click, and hit Delete. And it will just take those slides right out. Now we have three verses. We want a chorus in between each verse. We're going to start with verse 1, then a chorus, then we want verse 2, a chorus, verse 5, a chorus. Uh, another thing that we can do here is seeing as it's verse 2, then verse 5, let's change this this one instead of verse 5, let's go verse two, 3. So uh, click on this slide, or right click on this slide, go down to group, and then go call it verse 3 and it will automatically change both of these they're now verse 3 so we need to put in some more choruses so if we click on this first slide of the chorus hit control click on it and the reason we want to click on like we had this slide selected so if we were to go control here then this one is still selected as well we don't want that selected so we click on that first so that this one is no longer selected. Control, click on it. Shift, click on the last slide. And then Control C to copy. Then you click on your last slide so that it has the yellow border, not a blue border. Control V to paste. There's one more chorus. And let's go Control V to paste again. Now we have two choruses. Now if we click on this little icon right here, it's our song arranger. And... Dave was the one that pointed this out to me, so thank you, Dave. Uh, you're teaching the teacher. So we have all our different parts of the song listed right up here. And we want a chorus in between each verse. So what we can do is we can grab one of these choruses and just slide it right in between those verses. And we've got verse 1, chorus 1, verse 2, chorus 1, verse 3, chorus 1. Voila! Our song is set up and ready to go. So there you go. That is how to enter uh, a song into ProPresenter. It's fairly simple. Um, I mean, uh, but if uh, anybody has any more questions, feel free to contact me, and uh, I will do my best to guide you through it. Right on. God bless.